This is a demonstration of how a Solari type numerical display works. These are 120 volt uh, motor driven displays. We have large ones like this one here and the smaller one that you saw earlier. But they both work the same way. Each one has a motor that drives a series of gears which makes the display move. A main part of this is also a switch. The shaft of the motor goes through a switch and rotates the switch through the various positions. It's a rotating switch. The switch is connected to a set of contacts in the back and to a plug and each of the uh, plug pins is associated with a number. Starting at the bottom goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then in the upper left corner you see is the common for the motor. So if you connect a wire between this common point and any of those contacts below, it will rotate to the number of whatever contact is associated with that point. Here's the rotary switch. As the motor turns, it turns the uh, center shaft and this is a special switch in that there is a detent or a blank that will rotate around and it will stop the motor when it comes to the uh, number that you selected. The number panels are sitting on a shaft. On the top is a set of springs for each panel and it will flip it around as the uh, motor rotates the uh, shaft around. These units were made in the late 60s, so they were not driven by computers. They're very simple. They were driven by rotary switches. You turn your rotary switch to whatever number you wanted, and the sign would rotate until that number appeared. Each number, each unit, had its own rotary switch. This Solari control box has 12 rotary switches and will control 12 Solari display units. As you can see, it's just a simple switch going from the front of the panel to the connector in the back.